Hello everyone, big, big, big day today. Mary Carl and I have decided that it is time to take the plastic off the aviary. And there's a whole nother reason we're taking the plastic off the aviary because we have a new addition and we've got to do a few things to make sure the new addition can escape before we can add it. So first things first is I've got a couple of spaces in the aviary that you'll see that are small cracks and we are kind of scared that the new addition may can get through these cracks. So I've got my handy dandy buggy loaded up with all my tools. Got my pencil, my tape measure. So we're gonna go repair before we take off plastic and add the new addition. Stick off first, but Mary Carl suggested we do it from the outside versus the inside. So I'm gonna pull it off in the area that we think that we need to make the repair and see if I can't do it from the outside versus the inside. can get a screw in it from up here. We're gonna find out if the wind doesn't blow me off this ladder. I'm gonna cut my first one 22 inches and see if I can't get screws. 22 inches right there. I hope this will work. Rocky gonna be loud, baby. Ready? They seemed unfazed. I'm gonna unplug this just in case they decided to start chewing on it. All right, May Carl, let's go see if this will work. Yes, I think it's gonna work well. And it's not going anywhere. measure these other two and cut them at the same time. All right, 22 again. Way down here. This is our last cut. If the boys could get up here and help, they'd be glad to. Don't you? Okay, so that was a pretty easy fix. I just had to cut three boards and seal up some little small cracks. So now I guess we'll start pulling the plastic off. Is that what you think? I mean, they got it. And I hope, I hope we don't decide we gotta take all these orange nails out. <sighs> all right, the rest I think I can get from the top. Woohoo! One side gone. All right, moving on down. I may not can either. I may have to get it loose with the ladder. Come here, this is very satisfying. You can tell it wouldn't have lasted much longer. Oh, 
All right. Now I just got one little part of the top to do. Well, it's a lot more light in there, isn't it? All right, so we got it all off except for this little bit on the roof. And I'm about to go up and see if I can't get it off. Maybe Jason won't look out and see me on the roof. I don't know what he'll think. I made it. And now, I guess all this duct tape was for stay, keeping the plastic down. So you can see what's left. And I gotta try to get over there and get that pulled up. Good thing is I can see where the boards are, so where the structure is. I feel like it ought to pull right here. And it did, but that didn't do much good. I really don't want to walk across these two by sixes. I'm kind of thinking if I get that edge over there up and grab it, I might can pull it. Well, I'm kind of scared to go out on that little thin two by six. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go down and take the ladder back around, see if I don't pull that side up if I can't pull it. We're down to the last little bit. If you can see, I got a little wet. It's covered in water. But we hope that once we give it a big tug, <laughs> that was all your weight. Think I should jump and swing? Wonder if it'll reach down there. I'm thinking if I could get it over the top. Right. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it, babe. What will happen if we pulled it back that way? I know. Stop. We can hook the beep beep to it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna hook the winch on the front of the beep beep and tighten it real tight and see if I can't pull it that way. I know it's not a good quality to have, but I'm just somebody that does not want to ask for help. So I try to do everything I can on my own. And if this doesn't work, I'll ask for help, but I'm gonna try first. Here goes. Guess what's happening? It worked. I gotta back up a little. Watch out, Bandit! Never give up. <laughs> it worked. Me and Carl didn't think it was gonna work, but I was not gonna quit until I gave it my last all. Come here, Bandit. Bandit and Rocky said they think that their mama had an ingenious idea and they are so happy that mama didn't give up on them. Cause if I would have, we wouldn't have these precious boys with us today. Now on to the inside. Now what all, what the good thing is, <laughs> about all this plastic that's laying on the ground. Rocky, Bandit. It makes for a great puppy house. <laughs> what y'all doing?
So while I've been tugging along on the outside, Mary Carl's been in here. Mm -hmm. We could put these in the compost. Yeah. It's a it's a lot more sunlight in here, which I am hoping may be the reason that she hasn't laid an egg. We're about to find out. And the weeds really aren't. They're just rooted on the top, so it's not like they're in real deep. It's real easy to pull them up because we have weed mat. If we didn't have weed mat, we'd have a big problem. You can see that the grass that we had in here is starting to come back. This is a plant that we planted in here last year. It was con contorta, which is, you can see these curly, curly stems. They have little buds coming out. This is a blueberry that you can see has blooms all over it. And then still got a few more weeds I got to get up. But look how shallow they are. They're just in the weed mat. And it's just from, from the seeds that I have fed them, probably in their feces. They have uh, shed some of them and they have came up that way. But hey, it's time to do a little spring cleaning and Mary Carl's going to get her new additions. And we're gonna get, gonna get those put out. Let you see what that is. What you got there, Mary Carl? These are ring neck doves. A pair of ring neck doves. And the male's a lot friendlier than the female, isn't it? That's the female. So, are you, I mean, this is where we had the holes. You can still see a little bitty piece of light up there, but there's no chance they're gonna get out of that. Right. So I think everything, every little nook and cranny that they could get out of is covered. And you can right. see why we wanted to make sure that all, all cracks are covered because they're tiny. So, um, you want to let them loose? She looks like she's checking things out. She's cute, isn't she? Yeah, she's so tiny. There she goes. So, the little male is perched right there on the tree. I don't know if you can see him. While the little female, she's scooting around on the ground over here. But I also wanted to show you guys the huge nest. It's still about the same position as the last time I showed you the nest. So now we're just waiting on that egg to be laid. Mary Carl, does he have a name? Not yet. Not yet. And they're not wild doves, right? These are the domesticated versions of Eurasian collared doves. Okay. <laughs> The Victorians are kind of interested in where she's going. Well, I'm glad to have this done. Yeah. I feel like today was a successful day and I hadn't even got started good yet. I got all the plastic off the aviary, got a big pot of weeds pulled up Got some doves moved in with the Victorian crown pigeons and their place is looking a lot better. Of course, a lot of sunlight's coming in now versus what it was when the plastic was on there. Even though it was clear plastic, I, I know that it was, you know, the sunlight was not as intense as what it is with it off. So I'm just hoping, hoping that this may be the remaining factor involved in her deciding it's time to lay an egg. But all I can do is wait. I've got everything done that I think I need to do on my end. We gotta hope for temperatures to stay above freezing, which pecan trees are starting to bud out. The, our old timers say, when the pecan trees bud out, this is what here, the saying is here in the South. When the pecan trees bud out, their sign of frost or freeze is gone. So let's hope that's true. 
Listen. One of the doves was... I'm not sure if you guys heard that. That's a rooster. Hear it? That's a happy dove. Their sounds are so beautiful. It's ooh, 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 ooh. That's what we wanted to hear. Happy doves. Happy doves to you. Ooh.